We're giving away hundreds of dollars of Revzilla gift cards. Stay to the end of the video to figure out how to enter and win. All right, so we're riding, we're riding. Everything looks good here. Oh, on your butt. Good 360 situational awareness. Just move over. That person's turning right. Switch lanes. Not a big deal. Let that person have it. Okay, well, he decides to do that. Now watch out. He might cut you off. Be very careful. He just agitated or escalated the situation. Now we're putting ourselves in a dangerous situation based off of speed, but then also legalities and uh, consequences with the law. Let's go back to this one. Let's go back to this one. I like, I like talking about these ones too. Cause some of you guys have questions about what to do with somebody uh, on your booty. All right. So this is a typical ride. You know, we're just enjoying it. It's probably forty-five miles an hour. Um, so we're just kind of, you know, just riding forty-six miles an hour. Not a big deal. We're also staggered. You know, everyone's kind of like staggered to each other. So we have good escape paths, we have good vision and everything. Uh, so who won the motorcycle Charlie's Riding Adventures? A.A. Ron. I think he's still in here. I think he's in the chat. Maybe he left, but he's got a gray beard. A.A. Ron won. Uh, he actually has it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, so we're staggered right here. And so we're doing good. You know, we're riding our own ride. We're doing a great job. Now somebody's going to come in and mess us up. Okay, so that's not a good situation here. All right, so a good 360 degree situational awareness was able to see in the mirrors, hey, this guy's headlights is really close. This guy's really close. Now we have a problem, okay? So now our anxiety went up just a little bit because we understand the severity of getting into a collision with another vehicle because we don't have that protection. Very understanding. All right, so now we're here. Okay, so what do we do? Okay, we have somebody. We have somebody behind us. We, don't, we, we, can't, we can't do anything about that, right? because we can't stop them. If we break check them, we can get hit. Now it's not a matter of just a, a messed up fender and they have to pay for it. It's, it's, we could be on the ground, get ran over. So not a good thing. So what we can do, if you feel agitated or if you feel like, you know what, I'm going to be a little bit defensive on this. I'm going to be a little submissive because I understand where I land on that totem pole of survivability, basically out on the road is I would go ahead and move over here and roll off the throttle to maintain my space cushion with this, uh, Krispy Kreme donut uh, delivery truck. And that's all I would do because this person is so agitated, so ready to just gun it. The thing is, once I move over, they're going to gun it and I just come back into my own lane. They're not going to gun it and then box me in to where I can't move anywhere. And if they do that, then we have different problems. But 99.9% .9 of the time, like Lysol, it's not going to, it's not going to do anything. Okay. So, uh, or vice versa. <laughs> uh, so they're just going to go and we're just going to come back into our own lane. That is how I would typically solve it. Now, that works with a two-lane road. How do you do it with a single-lane road? Um, good luck. Uh, honestly, just kind of ride your own ride. If they're really getting on you, like in Jeepers Creepers, just kind of move over a little bit, let them go over, because we can kind of almost share a lane because we can lane filter. But uh, in this situation, we can definitely handle it by just moving over a little bit. And you can see the Krispy Kreme is going to turn right. So at some point, this Krispy Kreme is going to go down to 20 miles an hour or even less to make that right-handed turn. So what we can do is when we get here, we just, once again, like I said, maintain that space cushion. We're going to have to decelerate uh, so this person can turn right. This the, the challenger behind us is going to gun it, and it's not a big deal. So, like, you start playing out. It's We're playing chess here, guys, not checkers. So let's go ahead and go over here. You see how we could easily just get in this lane? It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. So he's going to do it anyways. This person's going to do it anyways. And it's, it's they're going to get agitated too because based off of what I said about how this vehicle has to turn right and they're going to slow it down, this person is going to have to slow it down. Now, this person's already agitated. So having this person have to slow it down is just going to make it worse. We're not agitated yet. We could easily slow down and, and not have a big deal about it but this person's gonna have a big problem. Doing that just escalates it. Now, you you might feel like, ah, ha, 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 sucker. Um, you might feel that, but don't, don't do it, okay? Now you're just, you're increasing the agitation and this person can easily just sideswipe you right now. So in this situation, 
just switch to the right lane. Just switch over to the right lane. Shouldn't have flipped them off in the first place, but switch to the right lane. Call it a day. Don't worry about it. Juan Pablo! Welcome to the crew, baby. So when I talked about this, now we're increasing our, our risk. Okay, we're increasing the risk based off of just having a lot of speed. Now we have a big risk when it comes to losing traction. We have a big risk of now we don't have a good total stopping distance. Uh, vehicles can come out in front of us when they're expecting us to go 45. We're going to go 60 to 80 miles an hour now. So we're doing double the speed limit. So now that we're doing double the speed limit in some jurisdictions, that is definitely criminal speeding. So now you have your bike impounded. You have multiple points on your license. You get it suspended, maybe revoked. All because of what? because of somebody back there causing you a little bit of agitation because they're kind of on your butt a little bit, that's not worth it to me. Okay, we do the risk reward all the time. And when we're riding, should we, you know, it's raining out, it's, it's super cold, so there's probably ice. Is, is the reward of going for a quick ride worth it? No. Is it sunny? Is it nice out? Is, do I have all the gear? Is it, is it like a Wednesday at, at 10 a.m.? So there's not really anybody out on the road. All the kids are in school. The, all the adults are in work. So there's a, there's like nobody on the mountain, you know what I mean? So what's the risk reward that we're going on here? And when it comes to this, the risk reward, when it comes to hauling butt past all these vehicles, because of somebody maybe agitated us and behind us and we flipped them off, we don't want them to hit us. Why don't we just remove all that and just kind of move over in the first place? Let the, let the idiot go deal with his own risk reward. We get back into our lane, listening to music, having a great time around a motorcycle. Why don't we just do that? If you've been riding around without gear, well, you're not a very smart rider. You need to acquire and utilize personal protective equipment. And here's your way of doing that. Click the link in the description to enter to win hundreds of dollars in RevZilla gift cards. We're doing this every single month. So if you don't win right now, you can possibly win next month. But if you sign up as a tier one to tier four, you get my ebook for free too. Check it out. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Click, click, click. Link in the description.